For a while, there has been a really popular genre of content on YouTube known by mukbangs. What mukbangs are, if you don't know, is just, generally speaking, someone sits down and eats foods, typically in a large quantity, in front of the camera. That's generally all there is to it, and on the surface, it's nothing bad or too weird. But then you dive deeper, and you end up finding some truly odd stuff that these people eat and odd ways that they go about eating them. I would like the preference by saying, I know some of these are just a cultural thing. However, they still look freaky. So, I, I wanna talk about it, cause what the fuck. I can do that too. In all seriousness though, that is just a clam, so that's not the strangest thing ever. However, that's why I mean when I say they go about odd ways of eating it, because why are you smacking it like that? Why are you making it come like that? Why is the point of you doing that? There's no way that helped with flavor or anything. All you do is get salt water or it's piss all over your food. Does that sound very good to you? Đấy, bây giờ, bây giờ mình sẽ bắt ngay cái đầu của nó để nó khỏi cắn mình. Trời ơi, nó không cho luôn kìa. Nó chống cự rồi. Đây, nó hơi không được. Đây. Nè mọi người nhìn nè Cái răng của nó như thế này thì hỏi làm sao mà nó không Đó cái răng của nó đó mọi người Đó mọi người thấy không I feel as though this is a pretty good example of what I mean Now I know that this could be cultural However I feel as though the moment you have to worry about the food you're eating biting you While you're eating it is the moment you probably shouldn't be eating that thing or at least not while it's alive. Really, I, I can't think of anything that's reasonable to eat while alive, but if it's capable of biting the fuck out of you, don't eat it while alive. Also, I feel really bad for these larvae because he's like, oh, these are so aggressive. They're trying to bite and everything as they're smothered in soy sauce and fucking garnish. They have no idea what's going on. I don't even know if they have eyes. They're just burning because I doubt the salt and soy sauce is good for them. Bỏ chung nó vô với nhau rồi nè, cái con này cắn con kia rách da luôn Con này không dữ quá, phải ăn thịt nó uhm. Ngon không mọi người is lying through her goddamn teeth. There was no universe in which she thought that was delicious. She chewed that shit so quickly the moment that entered her mouth, and that face does not scream, I like this. She clearly likes it, right? Yeah, I knew people eat crocodile and alligator. That's not what's unusual to me about this. What's unusual about this is the fact that it's just the head. Typically, they have the whole body because that makes sense. There's meat there. Typically, it's not just the head and they're fucking French kissing the alligator to eat it. I like lengua. So, like, I'm, like, not against necessarily eating animal tongue. But who wakes up and thinks, yeah, I'm gonna get an alligator head to eat the tongue? Hey guys, here's this old bath mat I found in my dirty laundry. Today, we're gonna go and eat it. Like, actually, what the fuck is that? I, I don't want to necessarily judge if I don't know what I'm looking at. But it's really hard not to when I don't know what I'm looking at. It literally looks like they are eating a rag that fell under a dirty fridge and they just squeegeed out all the brown water. It's like you're eating a charred nutsack that doesn't look like something you should be eating, nevertheless be dipping in sauce like that. I, and you're carrying it like it's a loaf of bread or something presume that once was or still is a living fucking creature so what are we doing here hello hello what the hell what the hell what the hell
For real though, oddly enough, this is probably the most normal thing we've seen because it's just a pig, it's pork. Really, it's just strange when he's taking a bite of the ear just straight from the pot, which you do you, man. If you like pork that much, go for it. Food wise, this one's pretty normal. Like, people eating frog isn't that, like, obscure of a thing. I'm just more confused by the two guys leaning on his shoulder so intently watching him eat this, so intimately locking eyes with him as he's doing this. Just a really weird setup, like are they going to get a bite? Are they just watching? Are they hungry? Like what is the story here? Is there a story to be told? Is there a deeper meaning to this whole thing? <laughs> Again, this is technically just pork, however, eating the nose is a bit on the nose. What up guys, here's a literal fucking block of foam I found. That's not food, there's no fucking way that is food. That is straight up a fucking little thing of foam. Unless that is some realistic looking cake meant to look like fucking foam. That man just bit into a foam block, there's no fucking doubt about it in my mind. Hello, friends. These octopuses lived and died just to end up being dipped in hot Cheeto powder. That is so much more gruesome than any fate they could have experienced out in the fucking wild. I would have much rather them gotten eaten by a shark or something than have some Korean lady cover them in fucking Cheeto dust and decapitate them. That is a fate worse than death. That is a fate worse than hell. Like a song song ball, so guys, today we have pottery from ancient Egypt, and today I'm gonna do a mukbang with it. I, I, I really, I, like, I first I gave it the benefit of the doubt because I was like, that kind of looked like it could have been chocolate. But the more and more I looked at it, the more and more, it literally just seemed like they were munching into some ancient pottery. And the more I watched it, the less it made sense, and the more that I had to come to that conclusion to make it make sense. Because the things that these people be eating don't look like food. That looks like some ancient pottery. Now, before we send you off, I want to take a look at one more mukbang creator. And before we take a look at the video itself, I just need you guys to take a look at their intro, because it's truly just something, something wonderful. <laughs> Hello. 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 I'm gonna listen to that shit each time I go to the gym. They get me fucking pumped up. Each time I hear that hello, it's like a fucking adrenaline shot in my veins, dude. That intro is pure adrenaline and pure testosterone in a video. I miss you so much and I told you that I had a surprise for you. So here is your surprise, the 15 pound lobster, you guys. Imagine being her like anything and her buying you a birthday gift. Oh my God, what is it? So here is your surprise, the what, what 15 the fuck is that? pound lobster. You I have my hammer. And I'm going to tear him up. Really just sat there and assaulted Larry for no fucking reason. In no circumstance do you ever need to take a hammer to a lobster like that. No way she was putting any kind of effort into it and not breaking that shit with the hammer. 
that lobster has probably lived for like fucking almost a hundred years at this point with it being that big just for it to get boiled and fucking smashed with a construction hammer oh my gosh you guys look 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 and here's a piece right here i'm gonna go ahead and eat that Oh my God, you guys, look at all that Obey seasoning. Throughout this video, if there's one thing that becomes very apparent, it's the fact that she really loves that Old Bay sauce and the fact that she really loves going, mm, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Those become very, very clear things that are either just her vocabulary at this point, those mean words, are they either those mean actual words at this point or it's just taking over her brain. Unbelievable. Oh my gosh, look at this, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh, you guys see this claw me? Mmm. Mmm. It's so... It's very tender. I feel like the likelihood of that lobster being raw is very high. Just with the, the shell being as thick as it was and how much meat there is, there is no way that shit is tender. It's just raw. Look at that. You guys, look at all of this. This is all meat, it's literally all meat. Mmm. 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 <clears throat> Mm, 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 mm. There's really nothing inside of here, inside the body. Uh, excuse me. Rips head from body, cutely burps. That poor fucking lobster just got mutilated for no reason. If you knew there was nothing in there, there was no reason to tear its cap off like that. Nevertheless, burp like that immediately afterwards. Like, I feel like that's the equivalent of pissing on this motherfucker's grave. It didn't even get a grave because it's in your fucking stomach now. However, I hope you enjoyed taking this little journey with me and viewing this genre of content. I hope it didn't scar you too much or anything. And I hope you can forgive me for this. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.